What is going on you guys, this is Tech HD coming at you with a brand new video and today I'm super excited for this video. So today we're going to be unboxing something that I've been wanting to review for a while now, ever since it came out. So this right here is the Netgear XR500 gaming router. This is one of the first gaming routers out there for 2018 and it is super known and it is so growing. So this is from the company Netgear but it's also partnered with Netduma. So for those of you guys that are gamers, then you know what Netduma is. Netduma is very known in the gaming department with their R1 router. Now, as you can see behind me, you can see my setup. I have two monitors, I have a gaming laptop, I have an Xbox, I have a PS4, I have a gaming PC. So internet for me is so crucial because I'm multitasking so much. I am playing competitive game battles, and then not only that, but I'm streaming at the same time. And then not only that, I'm also uploading a video and then watching my stream back on my laptop just to make sure that everything is going well. So internet for me is so important, it's so crucial to make sure that I'm not lagging or nothing were to ever happen to it because then I could lose a game battle match and that could really affect me or my video could stop and like it could be corrupted or something like that and my stream could lag, could lag and get issues and it's just a hassle. So this will solve it all so if you guys are not aware of netgear and netduma netduma is very known in the gaming department like i said with the r1 router now the problem with this router was the fact that netduma was mainly known as a software company they were making the duma os system the ui and it was amazing with their geo filter and all that it was great but the problem with that is that they were just mainly known as a software company and they hired a third party company to make the hardware now the hardware was a little bit outdated it had wireless and it didn't have beam forming it didn't have mu mimo it didn't have uh, 4x4 antennas nothing like that so it was a little bit outdated in the hardware department but the software was really really good now netgear netgear on the other hand is very known for their hardware and they are known as one of the best in routers and right beside asus and Linksys, and they are usually the first with coming out new stuff so they were the first one coming out with wireless AC technology. They were the first ones to come out with beamforming technology and Mimo, all of that. And they have been doing great with it. And all of the routers, I definitely recommend. I had the R7000 router and I just switched over to the Linksys WRT32X gaming router. And now I'm using this one. We're going to be testing this out. So they are, they combine each other. So we got the hardware department from Netgear with their wireless AC technology, the latest and all of that. And then we got the software with and that Duma with the Duma OS with Geo Filter and all that. So it's just combined and it's gonna be a beast of a gaming router. So we're gonna be taking a look at it, we're gonna be unboxing it, and then we're gonna see how to set everything up. Now, I'm also gonna be making a video on setting everything up and, to, and what are the best settings for QoS, for Geo Filter, all of that. So I will link that in the description below when it becomes available. It was most likely gonna be right after this video. So let's get right into it. Okay, so now we got the package over here. We got the Nighthawk Pro Gaming Netgear XR500 Gaming Router. We got the gaming dashboard, geo filter, quality of service, QoS, gaming VPN client as well. And this is all partnered with Netgear and Netduma. Taking a look at this side, you can see that there's a couple of the ports and then we have all the other specifications, which we're gonna get into as well. And then getting into the back, what we got is the pretty much the geo filter then we got monitoring your internet and then we got qos and then the ram usage the dashboard all of that powered by the duma os crush the lag all right so we're going to be testing this out so let's see how this is okay so we got the beast of the router right here i'm gonna move that over to the side and then it looks like that we got some quick start and some other type of information we got the arlo which i also own and then we got the four antennas and then we got the power and then we got a cat 5e cable now i'm going to be using cat 6 because i have cat 6 connected to all my devices so that's what i'm going to be using for a better better uh, better performance and more reliable connection cat 6 supports up to 10 gigabit and also has a higher megahertz which is really really cool okay so now let's take a look at the router itself let's just open this up let's remove this piece So now we got the beast of the router over here. We got WPS as well as the Wi-Fi on and off. As you can see in the front, we got the indicator lights which are not on, but we got power in and at 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and then it looks like that we got a guest Wi-Fi as well as two USB ports and four Ethernet port indicators. 
and then we got all the antennas over here on the side and then we got two USB 3.0s over here and then on this side we got the two other antenna connections and then we got the LED on and off switch which is really cool we got a reset button and as well as four gigabit LAN ports and then one gigabit WAN port and then we got the uh, power input and then the on and off button and then all of this information for the SSID and then the password which you can mess around with afterwards and then we also got the little paper over here that tells you the password and the SSID and as well as a QR code to download the Netgear uh, app, which is really, really cool. Also, I just wanna let you guys know that all the antennas have this specific connection. So this one right here is antenna one, this is antenna two, antenna three, and then one and four is over here. So you have to really connect them all to the same one. So this one says antenna one, antenna one, antenna two, and antenna three. So antenna one goes here, there's two antenna ones, and now this is how the router would look like with all four antennas connected. So just to let you guys know a little bit of information about this router, it has the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band. Obviously, like every other router, it has the 4x4 antennas as well as the 2.4 supports up to 800 megabits per second, whereas the 5 gigahertz band supports up to 1.7 gigabits per second, which is pretty crazy. The 2.4 gigahertz has the 256 uh, QAM chip, which is what is helping support that 800 megabits per second as well as it has the four high performance external antennas and it has a powerful dual core 1.7 gigahertz processor and it has the two usb 3.0 ports as well as five uh, gigabit ethernet ports so now that we unboxed the router and connected all the antennas we're going to be hooking this up and then we're going to be setting this up as well so let's go over to the computer all right, you guys, so as you can see right here, I got it all set up. I got it all hooked up. I'm going to be doing a uh, video, like I said before, on how to, what's the best setting, what, in my opinion, what's the best settings for gaming and stuff like that. So I really messed around with it. I really, I'm going to go in depth with this because there's just so much about this, which I really love. So I organized the home, uh, the home screen to the way that I think is the most important things like geo filter, the devices, my ping, as well as the wireless uh, status and the anti buffer bloat and also the network's uh, snapshot as well as if we scroll down the QoS. I have like over 15 devices connected. A majority of them are smart devices. So like I have Amazon Alexa working with all these devices here and there and sometimes they're disabled, sometimes they're not. I also got security cameras, my phones and then my consoles as well as my laptop and my PC. So I just want to make sure and that I have everything necessary to really give me a good uh, gaming experience. I also have the geo filter. I live in New York, so I have the geo filter set to 805 kilometers. Where if I were to change that, it is going to be in 500 miles, which I think is a good amount for if I were playing like FPS games like Call of Duty, uh, Destiny, stuff like that. Uh, PUBG is a little bit different, but what's good about it is that they have profiles as well for certain type of games. So if I were to pick something like PUBG, then it would do a radius like throughout the entire world because it's very difficult to find like about nine, uh, 98 people 900 to 100 people in a, in a game that's like pretty close to you uh, it's pretty rare so that's why they have that profile specifically for these types of games which I really like how they have like these specific type of games like Halo, Call of Duty, all of that what they would recommend is a good radius um, they recommend around 760 miles but I'm gonna do 500 miles and now what we're gonna do we're gonna do a little bit of a test I have an idea on what I'm going to have plan and what I'm gonna be testing and see what uh how this will work all right all right you guys so we're gonna be doing a bit of a test so uh, what I have over here is a couple of stuff so I got the Duma OS system open up on my laptop not only that but I got Call of Duty World War 2 open up on my Xbox one as well on my other computer I got a video being uploaded as well as I'm playing a movie on Netflix and then not only that, I am casting a video from my phone to the Chromecast to the TV on the other side. I'll show you guys a B-roll shot of that. All of that I'm doing and I'm going to be playing a match as well. As well, I'm going to be asking the Echo Dot to turn on and off a couple things as well as ask a couple questions. So what I have is I got 5 uh, miles and 500 miles set up 
and I got into a match pretty quickly. My ping is relatively low. It's 13 milliseconds. I'm doing all of this on the same network, of course. Everything is pretty much wired, and the Chromecast is wireless, as well as my phone and the laptop as well. All right, so now we're in a match. I'm going to load up a gun, and let's see how this does. So 13 milliseconds, no issues so far. No lagging, no skipping any frames, anything like that. I'm getting shot at, though, and I'm not hearing anything because I don't have a headset on. Let's see if any shots will be accurate. So there's one. Okay, shots are pretty accurate. 13 milliseconds, pretty good. And I'm still playing the movie on the background as well as uploading the video as well as casting the video from my phone to the Chromecast. I'm literally being very cautious because I cannot hear anything of the game. You guys could, but I can't. Okay, so it seems like that we're getting a steady 13 milliseconds ping which is good oh I saved my teammate oh ho, ho, these shots are connecting perfectly no issues whatsoever and I'm not even going higher and ping or lower I'm just staying at 13 which is pretty good it's a nice stable connection I guess okay he got him he got him I got him and there's a grenade as well as there's somebody probably above me. Yes, he is. Oh, he went down. Go get him. He's a little bit weak. Oh, I killed him. Nice, nice. And I'm taking guesses on where they would end up because I don't hear them at all. Nice. Shots are connecting perfectly. There's one guy. Oh, oh my god. This guy was on fire. We only need a couple more kills. Oh my god, I got him. I think I got him. 13 milliseconds response time is my ping. The video is still playing in the background from my phone. That's still being casted as well as the game, as well as the video, as well as Netflix. Alright, so now we're in a different match. I still have everything going on. The video is being uploaded as well as the movie in the background, as well as I have the NetDuma OS over here. I got the game up and I'm also playing a video from my phone. I also forgot to ask Echo Dark a couple of questions and to do a couple of things. So I'm going to do that in this match because I was so into the other one because I was actually doing pretty good going on a nice little streak there. Amazon, turn off the first light. Okay. Amazon, turn on the first light. Bring the water okay. bring you can see that my ping is still the same. Amazon, turn on the party lights. Oh god, Ooh, I got him. Very nice, very nice. Amazon, turn off the video light. Ooh, got him. Amazon, turn on the video light. Hey, let's go, baby. Oh, I'm about to die. I got a nice little triple there. Everything was still going good. Amazon, set the first light to blue. I'm mainly going to mess around with the light that you guys could see, so you guys can actually see that I'm doing commands. Amazon, set the first light green. Okay. Oh, this guy's over here. Amazon, dim the first light to 50%. Come here, come here. I don't even know where you're going. Oh, you're going all the way over there. Shit, my teammate's about to die. I got him. Nice. My ping is still 13 milliseconds. Like, this thing is crazy like it's not dropping or going up in any way it's as stable as it could be i am so weak i will die in a second oh my god i managed to kill him this guy here oh my god got him too it should be more around here oh my god i can't hear them so i'm taking guesses oh my god that turned on that's it i'm done Freaking going 10 and 3, baby, and we still ain't even done yet. Let's go.
So there you guys have it. That is my unboxing and first look of the Netgear XR500 gaming router. Also partnered with Neduma. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think about this. Let me know if you guys might be picking up one of these uh, bad boys right here because this is pretty crazy. The software, the hardware is all up to date and it's really cool. The geo filter and everything is really cool. And that test that we did was pretty insane as well. It didn't even fluctuate at all. 13 milliseconds, it didn't go up, it didn't go down. There was no issues whatsoever when I was playing. All my shots were connecting and I was just doing multiple stuff so that was really cool so I will be doing a more in-depth review on this and I will be letting you guys know my cons my pros stuff like that I want to give a huge shout out to Netgear for providing me the router as well as Netduma for providing me with the latest software it isn't even available for the consumers yet so thank you guys so much I very much appreciate it and also stick around for the next video because I'm gonna be doing a how-to on what's the best settings for this as well I'm gonna be doing another video on this bad boy right here this is the sx10 gaming switch it works really well with the xr500 so stay tuned for that video so there you guys have it hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think about it as well i will have links down in the description below so that you guys could go check it out turn on post notifications so that you guys can be notified that i upload every single week follow me on facebook twitter youtube instagram and twitch as always the tech hd i'll catch you guys in the next video peace